what up? I don't know why I did the I did the what and then I did up. So like I did everything sideways. What up? So turn turn your turn your computer sideways and it'll make total sense. Okay, so today's problem of the day, I've got a multi-step equation. I'm gonna let you work it. Dang, is my color off? Color me right. Okay, so I'm gonna let you pause it and then I'm gonna show you how to work it. I want you to try it on your own first because that helps you understand the problem more. Even if you get it wrong, it's good to try it yourself because you can figure out where you messed up. Ready? Pause it, write this down, and give it a shot. Ready, go. Okay, so let's work this problem, shall we? All right, now there's, there's, there's essentially three steps. Let's, get, let's say three, we'll find out if there's more. Okay, whenever you're solving multi-step equation. All right, do I have room over here? Yeah. First step, I want you to combine like terms like terms. That means I'm going to make a partition. I'm going to make a great the I'm going to make a great wall right there between this side and this side, okay? So what you want to do is you want to on one side combine it like a regular math problem. 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. You you know, 4 minus 1 is 3. You want to do regular math. Regular math, regular math until you make them as simple as possible. So that's combining like terms. So 2x, I like to circle them because it makes me not skip anything. Can anything combine with 2x? It has to have just 1x with it for me to be able to. No, no, and I'm not crossing my line yet. So 2x is good, I'm bringing it down, mark it out so I know I've done it. Positive three minus 12, that's a regular math equation. You can do that, you can do three minus 12 which would be negative nine. That's it, I've done this, I've done this, all my signs are included, I'm done. Bring down my equal sign. A lot of kids forget to bring down the equal sign. Do not forget. Don't be that kid. Bring down everything. Okay? Combining like terms over here. I'm going to start with my 14x. Does that combine to 14x? Negative Ghost Rider. Does 14x minus x, does that combine? Yes, it does to the greatest number in the world, 13. Because 14 minus x, you're taking one of the x's. Imagine 14x is lined up across in a line and you're taking one of them out. You're left with 13 X's, okay? So, we got 14 X minus X, which also you always know that there's a one there because anything times one is itself. So 14 X minus one X is 13 X. Another thing that students do a lot is they don't bring down like their X's. They get lazy or they get in a hurry and they just forget to bring down everything. Everything has to have a reason for going away. I have to be combining or dividing. I have to be doing something to get rid of stuff. You can't just get rid of it because you don't want to write it anymore. That makes your math equation wrong. It doesn't work in math. History, they apparently they can cut out whatever they want from history. Math, you have to leave it in there. Okay, and there's nothing left to combine with that, so it's plus six. Okay, I combine my like terms. Next step. I'm trying to think of the best way to word this. Best way to word this is get x by itself. Let's say that. Or get the variable by itself. Get variable, in this case it's x, by itself. Get the variable by itself. To do that, you've got to get all your x's to one side and all your regular numbers to one side. Okay? So let's say we've got a bigger amount of x's over here. So I want to get these x's over here. I want to get these regular numbers over here. Okay, so now that you're going across the equal sign, you're going to have to do the opposites. This is a positive 2x. Opposite of positive 2x, subtract 2x. I have to do that from both sides. If not, I'm breaking math law. 2x minus 2x is 0, so that goes away. I bring down my negative 9. I bring down my equal sign. 13x minus 2x. 13 minus 2 is 11 x. And then I'm going to bring down the 6 because we're just not there yet. Plus 6. Everything's been brought down. No, everything's accounted for, okay? Now, I got my x's over here. Now I need to get my regular numbers over here. Regular number over here is positive 6, the opposite of positive 6, negative 6. Why am I doing the opposite? Because it's going across the equal sign. So I got to do the opposites. Positive 6 minus 6, minus 6. That becomes 0 and cancels out. Negative 9 minus 6, negative 15. Okay, it becomes a bigger negative because you're in negative 9 already and then you're taking 6 more away from it. Equals, and that stays the same, 11x. Last thing is I want to get x by itself. How do I get rid of that 11? 
It's 11 times x. What's the opposite of multiplying or times? That's right, divide. So we're going to divide by 11. Negative 15 divided by 11. Does that simplify any? Can we simplify 15 divided by 11? No, 11 is a prime number. It can't be reduced. So I would leave it as 15 divided by 11. You could make it 1 and 4 elevenths, but that looks dumb. Unless your teacher wants it, then it looks great. I love it. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com. Peace.